In this video, we will explore all the latest Commonwealth Games news, from disabled gymnasts competing in the games to India's loss to Australia again. We will leave no stone unturned in our quest to provide you with the most comprehensive coverage of the games. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. First, gymnast with one pectoral muscle competes at the Commonwealth Games. After getting better from six surgeries, three torn ACLs, and a rare birth defect, a gymnast has become the face of Australia's Commonwealth Games team. Clay Stevens, who is now 25, was told when he was young that because he had Poland syndrome, he would not be able to compete in sports that use the upper body, such as tennis, swimming, and gymnastics. Babies born with this condition are missing or don't have enough muscles on one side of their body, usually in the chest, shoulder, arm, or arms. The Australian only has one pectoral muscle, which has a big impact on how strong his hands are. Stevens was not afraid of doctors or his own disability, so he ran and played every sport he could before he found his passion in the gym. Clay Stevens overcame Poland syndrome, a rare condition in which a baby is born without muscles on one side of the body. In in his case, it was his pectorals. After being born with a genetic defect, the Adelaide-born athlete was told over and over again not to expect much from his sports. He said that his parents always encouraged him to do whatever it took to play tennis, soccer, and swim. He fell in love with gymnastics. And even more surprisingly, he did well at it. Even though he had lost the muscle that was important to his success, Gymnastics South Australia went to Stevens School and sent him a letter asking for tests at a local gym to get him to go there. Stevens did sports that used his upper body like swimming and gymnastics, even though his doctors said he would never be good at them. Then he decided to take up a scholarship offer from the University of Illinois in the United States. This was after he saw that the Australian Institute of Sports was slowly cutting gymnasts funding and positions. The 25 year old said that having only one pec made him think outside the box and rely on his upper body strength. Stevens had a number of injuries that could have ended his career on the way to the Commonwealth Games, which was harder than Poland syndrome. Next, India earned silver in men's hockey after 07 loss to Australia in final. Australia, which was a defending champion, beat the Indian men's hockey team by a score of 0-7 on Monday to win the silver medal at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. This is the third time that India has lost to Australia in a CWG final. They also lost to them in 2000. 10 and 2014. Nathan Ephraims and Tom Wickham each scored two goals, and Blake Govers, Jacob Anderson, and Flynn Ogilvy also scored in that game. India lost the game because Australia scored five goals in the first half. The only other time India lost so badly at the CWG was in 2010, when Australia beat the hosts 8-0 in New Delhi. India was having so much trouble that it couldn't even get a single penalty corner. Australia got three penalty corners in the first 10 minutes, and Govers broke the tie with a flick that went between India goalie P.R. Shredges' legs on the third. Aframis scored with a counterattack down the right sideline a minute before the first quarter. It was raining goals for Australia, and Anderson made it 3-0 in the 22nd minute. He scored on a rebound after Sri Jess saved the first shot, tapping it in from close range. India's only shot on goal came in the 24th minute, but Australian goalie Andrew Charter stopped Agashdeep Singh's reverse hit. In the last two minutes before halftime, Wickham, 26th, and Anderson, 27th, added two more goals for Australia giving them full control of the game at the break. Wickham scored off a Tim Brand pass and Anderson scored off a rebound. Manpreet Singh got hurt when he collided with the Australian player in the second quarter. Since the captain couldn't play in the last two quarters, this made things harder for the Indian team. Aframis scored his second goal with a nice deflection in the 42nd minute. Four minutes later, Ogilvy scored another goal. Six minutes later, Australia scored again, but India asked for a referee, so the goal was taken away. Moving on, Sharath Kamal wins gold in men's single table tennis. The famous Indian table tennis player beat England's Liam Pitchford in a thrilling 11-13, 11-7, 11-2, 11-6, 11-8 match to win the men's singles title at the 2022 CWG. Sharath, who just won the mixed doubles with Shrija Akula yesterday, started the game by attacking as he always does and 
played from the back of the board. He got into a good rhythm and had a chance to win the first game at 10-9, but Pitchford stepped up and tied the score at 11-11. The Englishman didn't give up, and he won the first game 11-9. In the second game, the score was 3-3, when Sharath hit a powerful forehand down the line to take the lead. He played all of his angles perfectly to beat Pitchford, who has great reach. Sharath took the lead at 8-6 and won the game when Pitchford's forehand shot went wide with three game points on the line. The 40-year-old Indian kept his momentum and went up 3-0 quickly, then won with a beautiful backhand. Sharath was feeling good. The crowd was cheering for him, and he looked like he couldn't be beaten. Sharath's serves were great, and his returns were even better. With a great forehand cross-table winner, he quickly won the game. He had won the game by a huge margin, and Pitchford had no chance to catch up. In related news, Big Game Sindhu makes light of Lee, adds CWG gold to her collection. Sindhu walked in with a blue strap around her left ankle and walked out with a gold medal around her neck. She has already won a lot in her career, like two Olympic medals, the World Championship, and a bunch of Super Series titles, but she didn't have a Commonwealth Games individual gold medal yet. She easily won it. Michelle Lee from Canada is no pushover. The world's number 13 won gold at the 2014 CWG, beating Sindhu along the way, and was back for more. On paper, this didn't look like it would be easy. Lee started the match well on the court by mixing up her strokes, she hit Sindhu long, short, left and right all over the court to see how fit she was. But big game Sindhu is a beast that few people can hold on to. When asked after the rematch how she always wins medals at big tournaments, she laughed and said, let it remain a secret, eh? She was a little worried about an injury that seemed to make it hard for her to move in the semifinals the day before. Her coach Park Tae Sung said that she tweaked her Achilles tendon in her epic quarterfinal match. In fact, she didn't look very at ease as she slowly made her way through to the press in the middle zone after the game, but on the court she moved with ease. Finally, Lakshya Sen wins gold on Commonwealth Games debut. After an hour of fighting, there was a cross-court winner. A racket and shirt were thrown into the crowd, and a gold medal was won. India won all of the singles gold medals at the 2022 Commonwealth Games. On Monday, Lakshya Sen beat Ntse Yang of Malaysia, 19-21, 21-9, 21-16 in the final. The high-quality final, which was played by two young people at their first CWG, was full of long all-court rallies that were all about attacking, angled shots, and finding the smallest gaps on the chalk. The space on the court was so well defended that points were decided by millimeters on the white line on the sidelines. Both players were very good at defense, but Sen won because he was more determined. In the final match, Ng got the first two points, but the game kept going back and forth. Sen got a three-point lead because his defense was just as good as his offense. He made Nung make mistakes, which helped him keep his lead. The rally for 6-9 to nine showed how physical the match was. Nung finally scored when he hit the shuttle right back at Sen's body after the two had pushed each other to all corners of the court. Sen went into the break with a crucial 11-7 lead in the deciding game. Nung missed his shot because of how hard Sen's defensive returns were. Sen's lead grew to 15-10, and Nung had to try to catch up. Near the end of the match, it started to get rough. Sen lost a few points when she hit the net, and she also lost a lot of points when she made mistakes. The two then played a very rough point for 18-14. It was so rough that Nung had to take a break to treat the cuts on his knee. A jump smash from Sen gave him the last two points he needed. A wide shot and a smash from Nung made things tense. But an error from from Nung gave him the gold medal point. He won the match and the gold medal with a cross-court winner after his strong defense caught his opponent off guard. That's all we could cover in our very limited time today. However, make sure to subscribe for more Commonwealth Games news in the future.